Uh, there's an entrance here, and there's an entrance the other end. You're talking about the event. Yeah. You want to be interested in how you get to heaven. How do you get into heaven? Uh, I'm going to get into heaven. Right now. Oh, you're going in? Oh, I'm going to get into heaven. I don't know how to get into place. Right. You've got so confused for him. Son of God, this is the condemnation that the light came into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Those who hate the light neither come to the light, at least their deeds shall be reapproved. But those who love the light come to the light that their deeds may be made manifest, that will walk in God. John the Baptist says, Those who have the Son have life. But those who do not have the Son shall not see life, but the wrath that God be upon them. Wrath means God's indignation. It's like a dog drooling, foaming at the mouth. That's God's rage. That's God's anger at the wicked. But also God is long suffering to save many. He's a left. He's love. If your name is not written in the book of life for the foundations of the world, you are destined to hell. I'm here to preach to God's elect, God's lost sheep. It may be you, and you don't even know it yet. You may be God's well beloved, and you don't even see it yet. And I'm here to warn you. If you hate God, continue in your sins, enjoy it now. There'll be no fun in hell. The party in hell was canceled through the fierce fire. Party canceled, no kegs. No homosexuals, no perverts, no lasciviousness, no gluttony, but pain and torment. Science into discovery. The higher the heat, the darker the flame. Like I said, it be darkness. Darkness, but there'll be flame. You can't even see the flame, there'll be so much darkness. You ever go to the caverns and they turn the lights off in the caverns, you can see nothing, it's dark. That's how hell is probably going to be more dark. More dark. And God won't even know your name. With, with Lazarus. He knew Lazarus' name. But he didn't know the king's name. He wasn't even mentioned. Because he wasn't one of God's elect. He loved. The king loved pleasure. The king loved life. Of this world. But you need to love the life of Jesus. The one who hung on the cross. To die for Sinners, sinners, reprobate, repent. Who were you to flee the wrath of God? You brought a viper. Praise the Lord that God sent me to warn you. God brings curses upon those who disobey Him, but brings blessings to those who obey Him. You need to obey God's commandments today. Stop fornicating. Stop using God's name in vain. Stop committing adultery. Stop divorcing. Bring your children up in the admonition of the Lord. Even our son in Gomorrah. And the cities about them in a manner getting themselves over to fornication and going after uh, strange flesh or set forth an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. What did King Asa do? King Asa removed. Or sodomite out of the land. Oh, you're not gonna love burning in hell, sir. You need to turn your sin. But they, as natural fruit beasts, meant be, to be taken and destroyed, yeah. speak evil of the things that they understand not. And shall only turn in their own corruption.
And our prayer as Christians is not that you feel guilty and condemned and feel bad and go do something silly, but that you might know God and know the peace and the joy that knowing Him is all about. The Bible says that when we serve God with fear and trembling, or when we serve God with peace and joy, that's, that's acceptable to God. True peace, true joy is found in a relationship with Jesus Christ. God in His amazing love has condensed His Word right here in a small book. He's put the entire wisdom of God in a small book that I can hold between my two fingers. And God's entire command, His entire will for you and your life is expressed right here in a few pages that I can put between my fingertips. And you can know God and know His will for your life. Even a child, the Bible says, comes to God on the terms that pleases God. He says that you can't get to heaven or even enter the kingdom of heaven except you come as a little child. And you come accepting what God said and you come understanding that God made the world and He created you and He created you to serve Him. But many today are going to forsake Him and are going to serve Him ultimately. You're going to serve His purposes. And the Bible says that they'll be destroyed that rebel against Him. And they'll be completely annihilated from before the presence of God and the Bible says that, the, that you could be free from calling yourself a homo. You can call yourself a child of God. You can call yourself a guilt-free, condemnation-free child, son, or daughter of the living God. 17 years ago, in my little apartment on Chestnut Street, not too far from here, the maker of heaven and earth, the God of the Bible, the Lord Jesus Christ, came into my life and set me free from sin. And I can't help but tell you about it today. Oh, <laughs> you ever know something horrible like this in hell? Oh, God! Stop wasting your money here. Bring your kids to the Bronx Zoo or the Philadelphia Zoo. Repent on that pro job preaching what Jesus preached. Marriage between a husband and a wife. The children obey your parents. People are dying for lots of love. People are haters of the truth. You need to be a lover of the truth. You need to be a lover of God. God loves everyone. God don't love everybody. God loves everyone. He only God loves if he loves the black. Are you one of them? The only chaps guys go to his love. And these other ones are bastards for A lot of you are bastards before God. You need to be a lover of the truth. God is love if you keep His commandments. Keep God's commandments. God is love for you. Oh, you got the fear and wrath of God. He's talking to His saints in first and second, third John. God is love for His saints. He's wrath for His enemies. The so wrath be upon you. God's indignation and fierce anger when the magistrates torture you. That's what wrath means. You want God's wrath, or you want the love of God? You want the holiness of God? Repent. Okay. Hear the whole message. Okay. Yep. Have a good time. Repent and call the name of the Lord. Be saved. Confess in your mouth. Believe in your heart that God rose Jesus Christ from the dead. You shall be saved. Praise the Lord for the glory of God.